hey everyone welcome to my channel uh, in this video tutorial I am going to show you first of all check the uh, things to uh, things to be done that is category and the product actually uh, watch everyone so just restricted that uh, category and the product for everyone uh, to see uh, because the admin only can see and uh, changes in the changes performed in the category as well as the product so just add authorized attribute uh, just before the uh, class name so just you have to add authorize and also you have to add uh, a roles name for the admin because uh, i have three roles in the project that is admin employee and the customer so you can add uh, the roles that is the name is admin so role is admin okay that's fine now after that just copy that thing and also add in the product controller now just paste it here okay that's fine now after that you have to see that uh, only the authenticated user and only the uh, admin user can uh, see and some uh, uh, changes perform in the category as well as the product controller so let's have to check it and uh, okay uh, just build your project and uh, see the outputs using shopping cart dot uh, and uh, when we click onto the category as well as the product then you will see that uh, access denied will be performed first of all uh, go to the login section and after that you have to see that um, after login into the uh, user account or the customer account that is access denied and after that we have to also the product now uh, check for the cart also when we click on the plus uh, that's fine everything is fine now just come to the section is uh, in the cart and just go for the plus as well as minus so it's a plus is not working right now and the minus is working very well okay that's fine uh, minus is working but the plus is not working so just go to the plus controller and add first of all uh, you have to already created but it's not working so just get uh, just add the HTTP cat uh, verbs in front of uh, and just before the uh, action name and after that you will see that uh, the plus action method will be worked okay so just wait for some times and just go for the card and you will see when we click on the plus button your card will be worked okay that's fine now increase by one okay okay that's fine now also the total uh, will be incre uh, increased as well decrement is created decrement is also worked and also the delete button is worked so the whole thing is created by uh, easily so just add to the card button and uh, you will see that proceed to pay now you can see that uh, your view page is not working so just add the view page for the summary control and here we have the summary action method in the front of uh, first of all get the logged in user by the claims identity after that uh, in the cart vm we have a uh, list of cart uh, for the particular user so you know to work dot cart dot get all for the uh, by the application user id so initialize the uh, logged in user by using claims dot value also include the some uh, cart we have a sub product uh, disk uh, product information also and uh, initialize the order header first of all after that get uh, the application user information by using the vm dot order header dot application user so uh, you know to work dot application user dot get all uh, get t that's by using the claims.value 
and after that list of cart will be iterated one by one and get the to order total okay so item dot product dot price multiply item dot count now after that you have to add uh, the view for the summary page just right click on it and uh, scaffold that items because you can see that in the cart uh, not added a summary control so just add a summary uh, card summary information razor view okay and add uh, just summary control and uh, just click on the add button now uh, the scaffolding is working right now and after that you will see that uh, some codes and uh, your view page is generated variable now after that you have to uh, just paste that is already uh, created um, page and that is uh, you can say that the template for the summary page and uh, and uh, first of all add the model that is the cart vm okay now after that in the model dot order header dot name two column grid layout with the text input for the first and the last names so first of all remove the forms tag because that is the two forms in the page and just remove the one from the CSS table file okay that's fine Now model header dot font model head order header dot address as well text area we have a address fields and the input type is model header dot city state and the postal code is working very well. Now you can see the outputs of the page because uh, and also uh, I will provide the uh, in the right panel uh, the product information because the product information is contained by the list of cart. So you can see that the um, here we have a for each loop and the details of the model dot list of cart product dot name product dot price count and the count is multiplied by the price and after that order total and order amount will be rendered on the page so model dot order header dot order total dot to string is there make purchase click on the make purchase button after that final, uh, finalize your payment okay so uh, it's working right, right now okay okay everything is fine so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to shopping cart projects and uh, later on i will discuss on the stripe method which will uh, create a simple method to uh, payment online and the testing mode will be uh, uh, will be done uh, after few uh, videos um, so thank you guys for watching and don't forget please subscribe my channel and like this video if you like this thank you very much for watching